guys and welcome to vlogmas day four today's video is going to be the christmas tree challenge and this challenge was put on by the lovely heidi sonball heidi i do apologize if i just butchered your last name but this was put on by heidi it was also an open collab so anyone was able to join in who wanted to join in on the christmas tree challenge she asked if i would like to be a part of this challenge and i of course said yes because I love Christmas, I love the holidays, she's very sweet and I love her channel as well. So I said of course I would join in on this challenge. This challenge, like I said, is an open collab so there's going to be a bunch of other ladies who will be also filming their Christmas tree challenge video. So I'm going to leave down in my description box Heidi's channel link and also the playlist link so you can head over to everyone else's channel and check out how they decide to decorate their Christmas tree this year. If you are new to my channel, then welcome. My name is Jillian. I am a stay-at-home mom to two little ones, ages four and five. I am also a special needs mom to my daughter who is autistic and I enjoy doing a bunch of different videos over here on my channel. So if you enjoy today's video, then I would love to have you join my YouTube family. So feel free to subscribe to my channel. So now I'm gonna show you guys a few things of my tree. I'm gonna give you guys a close up of my tree, but first I'm going to let you guys know a few details about my Christmas tree. My Christmas tree is a fake one. I've never owned a real Christmas tree. I would like to have a Christmas tree that's real maybe one time just to get the experience. I really like the smell of Christmas trees. I just don't know if I can keep them alive or if I can handle all the needles falling. So right now we are sticking to a fake Christmas tree. Our Christmas tree is seven and a half feet tall and it was also just a regular green fake Christmas tree but me and my husband did flock it. The flocking process was very easy. It did take 24 hours to fully dry but the flocking process was super easy and simple. Now the colors that I chose this year for my Christmas tree are different tones of gold and also silver and then I also like the white lights on my Christmas tree. Now my Christmas tree is a pre-lit Christmas tree so I can switch it over to colorful lights if I would like to which I will show you guys once I do a close-up of the Christmas tree but like I said I just like the white lights this year so that's what I went with. So now I'm going to give you guys a close-up of my Christmas tree. I'm going to show you guys a few of my favorite ornaments and why I really love them and what they mean to me and right now it is daytime so I'm showing you guys a close-up in the daytime but I'll also do a close-up at nighttime just because Christmas tree does look a little bit prettier at nighttime when it's lit up so I'll show you guys close up during the day and then also at night all right guys so this is my Christmas tree for 2018 this is the first year that I have had a flocked Christmas tree I really love the way it turned out I've always really loved flocked Christmas trees so I'm excited that we were able to have one this year and now I'm gonna show you guys a few of ornaments that really mean a lot to me that I love that have some type of meaning to it so this first ornament is a sister's ornament it's a little angel and it has a quote on it and that was given to me by my sister we are the only kids that my mom has so it's just us two girls and that ornament means a lot to me another ornament that I really love Love is this family one which we bought when we were in Gatlinburg I think like a few years ago for Christmas it has our last names on it and then of course anything that has to do with my kids so Ryan my son made this last year in preschool and I love it it's just his handprint and then my kids each have a handprint ornament instead of having like my first ornament I made these and my daughter's is up here, which I'm sad it broke. I made it, it was like a salt dough one and I made it too thick, so it did break. I had to glue it back together. But this is how my Christmas tree looks like. I have a bunch of different toned gold and silver ornaments all over them. Some of them have glitter on them. Some of them are plain and then some of them are shiny. So I just have a bunch of different designs. Dollar Tree also has a bunch of really pretty ornaments for only a dollar, like this really cute gold glitter church. They also had it, I think, in silver and white as well, but I went with the gold one. And then this bell, I also really loved. I wish I would have bought more of these little ornaments, but I didn't. I went back and they were all gone. Then also this wine ornament that my sister also purchased for me because I love wine. And when she gave me that ornament, I was so in love with it. But this is just a, another look of my Christmas tree. This is how it looks during the day. I am going to film how it looks at nighttime as well. 
And then I just wanted to show you guys how it looks with the colorful lights. Like I told you guys, this is a pre-lit Christmas tree. It came with a remote control. So you can do white lights or you can do the colorful lights. You can also do different things where it will blink or it will go from white lights to colorful lights. But I just want to show you guys how it looks when it is colorful. And now I'm showing you guys how it looks when it goes back and forth from white and colorful. And this is how my Christmas tree is looking when it is dark outside, when it's nighttime and the house is nice and dark and the Christmas tree is lighting up the house. I think it looks beautiful at night because it lights up the entire living room. All right guys, so that is going to end my Vlogmas day for my Christmas tree challenge. I just want to say thank you again so much to Heidi for putting on this open collab. I cannot wait to see everyone else's Christmas tree and how they decide to decorate their Christmas tree this year. So please remember to check out everyone's links down below. I will have a playlist of everyone's video and also Heidi's channel. If you have not already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and join me and my YouTube family. Remember to turn on your notification bell and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time.